welcome back to KiwiTech, and today we're looking at overclocking our Galaxy S4, the i9-500. Right, so the first thing you need to do, in the description I've got a link to a kernel, and this is Perseus kernel. It's from a member called Andre Lux, and he is a recognized developer and contributor over at XDA forums, and he's developed this kernel. Actually spent a lot of time in this kernel, and it is able to overclock and undervolt and underclock if you want to go that far. So, in a custom one that I have, I have an application, it's called S-Tweaks. Now you can use other applications, but this is just my preference, and you could overclock it up to two gigahertz, but um, on my device it's not stable. So I'm going to overclock it to 1.7, so just 100 megahertz more than normal. One thing you do need to do is test Quadrant to benchmark it, because N22 doesn't seem to push the i9-500 octa-core above 1.4, so you're getting uh, not good readings. This is on this kernel. So here we have the comparison. This is the stock on the left, and overclocked to 1.7 on the right. So it's a little bit improvement. Um, a thousand points in, in quadrant, which is pretty good, and any improvements always uh, got to be appreciated. So that's basically as simple as it is. Flash this kernel in clockwork mode recovery, and reboot, and then use a tool like set CPU or S tweaks, and you're good to go. So this is KiwiTech. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.